Now that I've filled up my table with some information, what I want to do is actually create those links that make this happen over here. We essentially have, have two things going on to make these happen. The first thing is we have a link and here's the actual URL to the link. You see popup.lala.com uh, forward slash popup forward slash some big long number. And the thing that makes that actually happen, it pop up, is a, another JavaScript. And that's actually something that's within Dreamweaver, part of its behaviors. Um, so the first thing is let's discuss how we're going to find these links for these songs. The easiest way to do it is to go over to Lala and actually search for the song that you want featured, right? So my first song is... Brian Eno and one two two one rather let's see load and take in a second okay so here we go so now I have this Brian Eno song and if I click here okay if I click it it's asking me to sign up but I actually don't need it I don't need to sign up for this what I could do here is well there's yet yeah, there's one missing piece of information here is the base URL for any one of these songs. Like like you saw over here, we have when you click on one of the songs, you have you have the URL over here and the base of the URL is this popup.lala.com forward slash popup forward slash and the rest of that number over there is specific to the song. So as long as you know this base part over here, this very first part, the popup.lala.com forward slash popup part once you search a song and you know it's the one you want by clicking play if you look down at the bottom left hand corner over here you see that it's giving me the lala.com forward slash song forward slash whatever that code is I just need that number back there the easiest way for me to grab that number is to right click on this thing and copy link location now I already have set up this the base URL. That one I already know. Popup.lala.com forward slash popup forward slash. And obviously, don't forget the HTTP. Now, let's see. The other link I just got was song. So, what I'm thinking, I could bypass this whole registration thing for my own site by just taking this base number over here, copying it, and putting it at the end. It's at the end. It's just not okay. Now, this link over here should give me that song. Let's see if this is true. Okay. So it works. Alright, great. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make a list. Now this is my Eno song. I don't need the Brian. I have no other Brian. Okay, so Eno. That's the first one. And now for the second one, I'm going to keep on doing this. And before I even bother doing anything with these um, any edits inside of here I'm gonna compile a list of all the different pop-up links and I'm gonna make sure I test them so hey good looking here we go hey good looking and I'll get it over here Well, now that I got all my links set up and I know what I'm going to add, I'm going to add a Dreamweaver behavior that's going to have them pop up for me in a, in a set window. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is just look at about how big I want it set. So I have this Measure It plugin that I use often, and I'm thinking, what is that about? Okay, I'm looking over here, and I think this is, I think 400 by 200, 400 width by 200 height is going to do, because I'm going to add this Dreamweaver behavior to it. So, here's what I'm going to, how I'm going to do this. First off, I'm going to go to the song, select it, and for the link, I'm just going to put JavaScript.
colon semicolon and the reason what this actually does is that this is a, um, a basically a null link and it'll let me it'll it'll let me just put nothing as the link so when someone clicks it it's going to execute the JavaScript and not shift my page around and actually I'll probably do that for all of them right now since I can just copy and paste that in quickly pretty easy and then here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that other one again and I am going to add a Dreamweaver behavior that's going to make it pop up and if you go to window if you don't have the behaviors panel up I usually don't um, you click right here behaviors and I you have the thing selected the link you want and then if you click you may be at looking at attributes but click on the behaviors part of the tag inspector you should see in the in the one open browser window and I'll select that and it says URL to display now this goes back to the URL that we just in our list over here so this one's to Brian Eno so that's the URL to display so I'm gonna put that in oh come on it's always giving me a hard time oh there we go because I was just impatient alright now the window width is going to be 400 by 200 the only thing I'm going to really do here is give a resize handle I guess I could put all this other stuff here um, the status bar scroll bar as needed I, I don't think I want any of those things um, I guess just window name I'll put down the actual uh, Eno sounds about right that's you may have to reference that later you never know but you always have to do give it a name and click OK and now if I save it and I'll preview it now this should have okay there we go so that's exactly what it did now what I'm gonna do is do that for all of these so let me go over at least one more so hey good looking so I selected it and now I already gave it a a link because otherwise people wouldn't even know that it's a link because you could actually get away with adding this behavior to the text without giving it a link reference into the JavaScript but you want to make sure you give it some kind of link so highlight your link whoops and then add the behavior open browser window go back to your list that you created and here's my hey good looking and then the width is going to be 400 by 200 and I will let the user resize the handle and I'll do Williams click OK and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this for every last one of them and to make sure that when I click it works perfect <laughs>